Hi, we're Ryan and Kirsty, and we're currently travelling full-time all over the UK and Europe in our motorhome with our dog, Lottie. In 2022, we quit our jobs and sold our house to embark on the biggest adventure of our lives so far. Come and join us on our van life travels. Hi guys, so we thought we'd do a um, quick video today just to tell you all about which aircon unit we use in our motorhome to keep cool on warm sunny days like today. So we have the Total Cool 3000. I think it's one of the smallest in the range. Do do bigger ones. Uh, we find this just to be sufficient enough. Sorry, that is <laughs> that is in the way. Uh, yeah, we've tested a few different ones. Uh, it's not cheapest, but we have tested some cheaper ones, uh, and they they just blow warm air at you. Uh, so yes, yeah, so we have tested this. It has been getting up to like the low 30s, high 20s. Uh, even in like France, Italy, Switzerland, uh, Austria, we've tested it. Uh, so if you do go back through some of our videos, you can see us using it as well. Uh, but yeah, so we've given it a good test over the last like four months we've had it. Mm -hmm. uh, and it really is one of the best aircon units that we found to be portable. Uh, so as you know, aircon units in vans, you can get into the thousands to get them installed onto the roof the weight of it, the cost of running it. Uh, so yeah, so for a small portable one, uh, we find the total call 3000 to be really, really good. So firstly, you're probably gonna want to know how much this costs. So we purchased ours through our motorhome dealership when we purchased our van, so we did get a slight um, discount on ours, but at the moment currently on, as of today on Amazon, this is 360 pounds to purchase. Uh, yeah, so we will leave a link in the description so it runs off 12 volt and mains, which has been really good. Uh, you get two different connections in the package. 12 volt works fine, works on all settings. So obviously, as you know, living in a motorhome or a, a camper van, it's really important to try and save weight where you can. Um, so this um, portable aircon unit is only two kilos. So it's very lightweight, which is perfect for uh, van life. And the best thing about it, um, obviously being portable is you can move it around the van and set it up wherever you think is best um, so in the day when we're sitting around our um, table in the, like, the sort of living room area we will have it on there and then at night we'll put it on at the back near our bed to keep us cool through the night so that's a really good thing you can set it up um, exactly in whichever place in your van is best for you yeah and it also means we can position it on Lottie uh, if she does get a bit hot and she's laying in bed and sleeping it means we can just directly hit the fan on her keep her a bit cooler. She does end up hogging it a lot more than we do. Yeah, it's more for her. Than <laughs> but it, yeah, yeah, a lot of the time it's directed uh, at Lottie and we're sat in the back sweating still. <laughs> uh, so if anybody is interested in how much power it actually uses, the lowest setting is 4 watts uh, and the highest setting it uses is 22 watts. Uh, so if you have got a good enough battery consumption, especially if you have got some solar panels like we have, uh, it literally just runs forever mm -hmm. or you've got the eco flow which we generally run it off mostly uh, means we can put it anywhere uh, we don't have to worry about cable length or anything like that uh, we can just plug it into the eco flow and it literally runs on the eco flow for hours and hours yeah so we've got it running on the eco flow now uh, and the eco flow says it will run for 23 hours consistently on the lowest set um, the good thing about the Total Cool unit as well is that it was all designed and manufactured in the UK so obviously um, with your warranty and any customer service um, issues that you might need um, all in the UK so that's a really good thing. Yeah so it's not a cheap Chinese buy. Uh, a lot of the ones you do get off Amazon are just cheap Chinese ones that do break very quick so at least you know it's yeah. built in the UK, your customer service so you do pay premium for that it is a little bit extra but it means you're getting the quality for yeah, it yeah. Uh, so how does it work so you have a little fill lever on the side where you fill your water up to so your water goes in this front area here you do get a filter with it I believe you might get two filters with it in the pack I think yeah I think one comes inside a bit and then you get an extra Spare filter one. in the box as well uh, so it filters all the air for you as well so you know you've got nice clean air blowing the fan is at the back so all we do is just fill the water up to the fill line and then the main thing is is putting ice cubes in it so the colder the water excuse me Lottie 
the colder <laughs> the water you've got in it, the colder the air that will come out of it. Yeah, so basically, this is going to blow out the temperature of the water that yeah. you've got in it. Yeah. It's the temperature of the air you're going to get. So, so yes. the colder the better. So the colder the better. We was put. We've only got a small freezer, uh, and we, we was putting ice cubes in it. But we now brought. <laughs> Lottie's desperate to play with her tennis ball right now. Lottie! Lottie, just you've wait. You've got to wait. Wait. You've got to wait. Go play. Yeah, the best thing that we've brought is an ice pack. Literally, we just drop that in and then change it every couple of hours. We just replace the ice pack. We've got yeah, so two we've of these. Yeah, so we've got two or three ice packs that we keep in the freezer. I and mean, when one of them's um, not so cold anymore, we just switch it out and switch put one out. of the other ones in. So we've just got a constant rotation of ice packs going in, which makes the water really, really cold. Uh, yes, yeah, so once you've got it, once you've got your water filled up, you've got your ice pack in, you have got four settings on the top. All four settings are quite good. We use the lowest one when we're in bed, obviously the highest one when it is really hot. The highest one It is loud. Is quite loud. So it's not the quietest. I mean that's Yeah, it is quite it loud. It is quite loud. Um it's fine obviously when you've just got it on in the day. Um but yeah, it's it's just something to think of, the noise. It's yeah. something to bear in mind. Yeah, it, it's not. It's not too. It's not bad. too loud. You not just end up get. You just it. end up blocking it out. Yeah, like when we go to bed, we probably have it on the one of the two lowest ones. During the day, we have it on one of the two highest ones. Uh, so yeah. And we're only leaving it on overnight in bed on the really really hot days where we're really struggling. Yeah, 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 and it does help. It really it, does and help. It really helps. Especially like a motorhome, campervan, caravan. There's small spaces. You don't need a lot of cool air. No, that's that's the good thing. Once you get it going, um, you can cool it, it down. It does the space. cool down pretty much the whole of the van, which is good. Uh, one of the things to consider is the fan is on the back. If you can leave a window open and get some fresh air coming through the back of it, it does help uh, the efficiency of it uh, and helps blow some cooler air yeah. through. It performs best when there is a bit of um, air coming through the window as well. Yeah, yeah. That's just the that lid, and that pops back on. And that's literally all you do. These um, on the front, they can rotate, so you can ro rotate these around and rotate the di direction of the air coming out. Essentially, that's that's how it works in a nutshell. So you are also able to purchase these essential oils. Um, so we got ours thrown in when we bought this from the dealership. Um, but these are really handy because especially the one in there which is um, citronella oil because that's really good at um, deterring like mosquitoes and flies and stuff which can be a problem in a motorhome or a camper van so you literally just put a couple of drops of these essential oils into um, the water it blows the scent around the van which is really nice as well so you get um, tea tree oil, peppermint oil, citronella oil, lemon oil and eucalyptus oil yeah, we've have... all got different um, purposes as well. So obviously the citronella um, can help with like insects, and mosquitoes, um, but there's also um, like tea tree oil. It has like antibacterial purposes. Peppermint oil is good for headaches and muscle pain. So yeah, a few drops of those. Um, it just helps to keep the van smelling a bit fresher as well, which is always good. Yeah, it really does, especially when you've got the highest setting. If you just come back in, you can switch that straight on, drop a few drops in. The van smells lovely after. Yeah. So I would recommend buying these as well because they are really nice. Yeah, again, we'll leave a link to them in the description as well where you can go straight to them and just buy them. Uh, so the filter is removable, as I said, like you do get a couple in there, but it is best to just give it a rinse out every while then. And we need to give ours a bit of a clean so it's been a few weeks since we've cleaned it. Uh, so yeah, so you can take the filter out, give it a good wash, just pop it straight back in. So yeah, that is um, the total cool 3000 portable aircon unit. So like we said, we've been using it for around about five months now, um, all over Europe and the UK. So we feel like we're in a good position now to give it um, a good review. We've um, had no issues with it whatsoever and it's been so helpful to us, especially the past few days where the UK has been having a bit of a heat wave and it's just been so hot. So this has been a lifesaver. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we did buy it. <laughs> We're not being really paid to do this. We just wanted to um, we just thought, try and help anyone yeah. who's looking for um, an honest review of an aircon unit for a motorhome or a camper van. Um, so yeah, that's our honest review. So, as you can see, we have got the EcoFlow. Uh, we haven't done a video on that as of yet, but it is coming. 
uh, we've had it for about four five weeks now yeah four, testing five it weeks, out yeah. so we are testing it out again not sponsored we did get this one we, we didn't pay for it though unfortunately no we won it we actually we won, won it won a competition on a competition <laughs> from ecoflow which is a miracle because we don't win anything yeah <laughs> uh, so we're super so yeah. chuffed with that so we're super chuffed that so it's not sponsored but it has been brilliant it yeah really, it really has it, been good it's been amazing so thank you so much for watching this video we hope it's helped in some way um if you are watching this and you're not yet subscribed to our channel then please do because it really really helps us grow our channel um and yeah hope you've enjoyed this video